Hello, I'm David and you're watching Crew Show UK. We're on board MSC's brand new Eurybia and in this video it's all about the food. I'm going to give you my top tip for a great embarkation lunch. We'll battle the crowds in the Marketplace Buffet. We'll try two of the amazing speciality restaurants, Le Grill and Ola. For all this and more, stay tuned. I hope you're hungry. We've made it on board the ship, the MSC Eurybia, and we've come for lunch in the Boreal restaurant. And that's my biggest tip for you on embarkation day. Don't go to the buffet for lunch. Come to the main restaurant if it's open, which it usually is for uh, embarkation day. So come here, it's so relaxed. Nice, you get a sit down, nice little menu. Happy to be back on board. I'll have the spring rolls, please and then the chicken parmesan. I'll have the English trifle. Oh, we've ordered our drinks. We've got the premium drinks package. Nice Prosecco arrived, nice dry one. Beautiful, it's really hitting the spot. And uh, Crucial UK score, five out of five. <laughs> um, we've got some nice looking bread and I think it's margarine, but I'm sure it'll be okay. My starter's arrived. I went for the spring rolls. Um, it looks very nice, very appetizing. Let's give it a go and I'll, uh, it smells really good. Let's have a go. They're okay. Um, it's not gonna win any awards though. Uh, the the um, chili sauce is quite nice. Nice and sticky and sweet. But the spring rolls, I think they might be a bit too small. And so all I can taste is the, um, the pastry. I can't really taste the filling that much, um, so I'll give it a Crucio UK score, 2 out of 5. This is my main, it's the chicken parmesan. Looks nice and smells really good as well, so hopefully this is going to be great. Let me give you my scores for my first main on board MSC Arabia. Uh, I really liked it, the chicken, the cheese and the tomato worked really, really well together. It was nice and tasty. The vegetables were cooked perfectly. Really, really nice. Uh, it was good. I'm going to give it a Crucial UK score, a four out of five, and that grade from a three, but not as good as a five. So four. So I've gone for the English trifle, uh, which looks nice, but I can already tell you the cream is not going to be good. Um, I can tell you that already. But let's um, let's give it a go. Mm. The cream is absolutely awful, but the custard and the jelly is quite nice. But the cream on top is dreadful. I'll scoop it off. Let me tell you about my English trifle. Um, and I love English trifle, but this one was not very good at all. The cream on top was an artificial cream, clearly, because it was white, um, and it was not good. And then underneath they have a jam, and you would never have jam in tri English trifle. And then the custard underneath was overly set, so it was quite rubbery. And the jam, uh, again, was overly set. Um, but it, the jam tasted nice, and there were fresh strawberries in there as well, which were nice. Um, but overall, disappointing really. I'm going to give it the Crucial UK score, a 2 out of 5. So, Ola is a speciality restaurant. It's €17.99 per person for all you can eat, which I think is an absolute bargain. Um, so, we're going to show you everything that we're, we're going to have. So, to get us started, we are starting with some chips and salsa very nice indeed i'll put a link to the uh, menu on screen a qr code uh, it's quite a lot of choice but the, the server will guide you through it all 
So don't worry, this is our first time here. Um, we weren't really sure what to order, but she's guided us in the right direction. Just tell them what you like, what type of spice you like, and they'll help you with it. It's really, really nice. So really looking forward to this. I think it's going to be really good. This course has arrived and we've gone for the nachos. We couldn't decide whether we wanted chicken or beef, so we've had both. And they both smell really good. It looks really nice. I'm very excited to eat this. I'm starving. Let's dig in. I'm going to give my scores for the, the first course, the nachos. Chicken and the beef. Very, it was mouth-watering. Really, really good. Lovely, nice spice. Not too much, not too little. I really enjoyed it. Presentation was really good. Five out of five. Easy. I've got a tortilla soup. And it's not something I would ever order, really. Um, but I've, I've, I've gone with her suggestion. And, uh, yeah, let's give it a go. It's very hot temperature-wise. I can see the steam. Very nice. You're going to be happy with this. Really good. Okay, I've just finished my second course. And I hope you can hear me okay, because this place is quite a lively venue. It's just off the Galleria, and it's quite, well, lively. Uh, but the atmosphere is electric. Really, really good. The soup was incredible. Honestly, I think sometimes you've just got to go with the server's suggestion. And I'm so glad that we did, because we would never have ordered this. But the flavours, there was an explosion. Uh, Mexican through and through, delicious. Easy, five out of five. The speciality restaurant on MSC is where it's at. For our third course, we're going for the street style soft tortillas. And we're gonna have two of the ancho tinga, which is slow roasted shredded chicken. And we're having two chili con carne, with spiced ground beef. I'm sure they're going to be great. She said they're only small, so uh, we got one each. Beautiful. I've just tried the uh, ancho chinga soft tortilla, the chicken one. It's delicious, lovely and soft. Very fresh. The chicken was beautiful. Five out of five. Beautiful. The chili con carne tortilla was excellent. Uh, Bursting with flavour, I can still taste it now. I'm going to give it a Crucio UK, 5 out of 5. Fantastic. This is the beef burrito. It looks delicious. I can't wait to try it. Okay, I've taken my first bite. Here's a look inside. It was really good. The beef burrito was great full of flavour, searing hot, really hot. Uh, I really enjoyed it, but <laughs> the menu has beaten me. Uh, I was going to have an enchilada next, but uh, I just don't think I could, but I might have a pudding. It's dessert time and I've gone for the arroz con leche, which is a rice pudding. And um, we've also ordered a ice cream taco with, uh, it's got caramel sprinkles on top. And also, we've gone for the Don Pedro, which is an alcoholic milkshake, uh, which I'm really excited to try. Uh, it's a vanilla, vanilla kind with Kahlua, rum, and ice cream vanilla. Beautiful. If you like rice pudding, you would really like this. It's uh, got a nice cinnamon flavor. It's very indulgent, comforting. Five out of five. Honestly, it was really, really good. The rice pudding was delicious. And the alcoholic milkshake, delicious as well. If you like Baileys and Kahlua, you would really like this. Mm. Really good. And the ice cream taco was beautiful as well. Lovely caramel topping. This meal was far superior to the last Mexican meal I had on a cruise ship. 
which was Norwegian Cruise Line's Los Lobos. If you want to see that video, I'll put a link in the description below. Right, okay, what we're going to have for breakfast. They've got cereals here, all different sorts. Looks very nice. It is really, really busy up here. Um, Birch's muesli, which I really like. I'm probably going to have that. I like to have a good look round. And uh, see what's on offer. Lots of different fresh fruits. Quite nice. Let's have a look at what they've got in the bread. Selection of bread rolls. They look really good. Like a crusty batten. Nice. Ton of raisins. Chocolate twists. They're really nice. Muffins. It's very busy. Okay, so there is lots on offer here. It's a wide selection. It is very, very busy. It's not really my thing, but what I've seen looks really good. This is my problem. I wake up and I think I'm still full from last night. I'll just have some muesli this morning and this happens. I have muesli, three pastries and two muffins and then hash browns, egg, sausages, beans, bacon and a little bit of tomato on the side. I think I've got an Americano, it's Lavazza coffee. It's really, really good coffee, very strong and rich. I've also got this orange juice, which is, I mean, it looks luminous. I was a bit, uh, yeah, dubious, but uh, it's very nice. And water, keep hydrated. Also, another tip if you're coming to the buffet, I always do it, wash your hands and bring your own gel. Okay, I'm enjoying my breakfast, it's really, really nice. Question for you though, I like a muffin, but I generally only eat the muffin top. I never eat the bottom. Anyone else do the same? Let me know in the comments. Let me give you my scores for my breakfast. It was really nice, I really enjoyed it. The food gets a Crucio UK score five. Uh, the crew, so happy and nice, helpful. They're gonna get a five as well. Uh, the ambience though, I'm gonna give it a three. Um, it's very busy. Uh, so overall, Crucio UK score, I'm gonna give it a four out of five. We are in Le Grill, which is the steakhouse on board the MSC Euribia. I'm quite hungry. We haven't had a great deal to eat today. We've been saving ourselves for this meal tonight. And I'm gonna talk you through the menu in a minute, uh, but it looks a really nice place. Uh, it's just off of the Le Galleria, um, the main strip on the ship, and yeah, it's very nice. Okay, so tonight we are going for the dining experience, which is 45 euros, and it includes one appetizer or soup, uh, one seafood or one steak, and one dessert. Uh, and as I said, it's 45 euros. However, if you're part of MSC's Voyagers Club at Diamond level, then you get this dining experience included. So it's quite a nice little perk, and that's what we're having tonight. And also, if you are not at Diamond level, or if you're not a member of MSC's Voyagers Club, but maybe you are elite with Princess or something like that, then ask MSC to match the status and they'll do that and they'll put you at the diamond level of the uh, Voyagers Club. It's well worth doing because you get this dining experience. You get the bottle of champagne in the room, chocolates, uh, sweet treats, lots of little freebies that are actually worthwhile. It's a really good club. I'm gonna have a really good look at the menu now uh, because there's lots on there that I like. And I'll put a link in the description of the actual menu so you can have a good look yourselves. Our bread has arrived and it smells really good. There's a cheese and bacon bread. Uh, there's sourdough, there's a walnut bread. It looks really good, can you see that? And then there's a honey butter and a paprika butter. Um, it, yeah, that bread smells really good. Okay. This is the cheese and bacon bread, and it's more like a little scone, but it smells really good. Oh, look at that. Really nice and cheesy. Look at that, it's so nice.
That's really good. I'm really enjoying the bread basket. It's a really good premium bread selection. And the butters are fantastic as well. So I'm giving it a Crucial UK score a five out of five. It's really good bread. Starter has arrived and it is absolutely enormous. Look at the size of that, it's like a main course salad. In this salad we've got, there's egg, uh, bacon, there's aged cheddar, and there are spiced walnuts as well. Um, it looks really good, but it's just massive. Uh, but let's give it a go. Let me tell you about my salad. Uh, I like it, um, I don't love it. I wish there was a bit more ingredients, less salad leaves maybe avocado and maybe more egg it's saving grace is the uh, the walnuts in the description it said spiced walnuts but they're more like candied it's 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 very much like a nut brittle um, it's very nice it gives it some crunch would I wouldn't order this again though if I come here again um, it's nice but uh, yeah I'm gonna give it a crucial you could score I'll give it a three out of five. Let me tell you what I've got. I have a very nice sirloin steak and some grilled asparagus which looks amazing and then we've got a selection of sauces, the usual bernays, there's peppercorn and a red wine and uh, we've also got some house um, fries which look really good as well. Lovely, let's dig in. Hey, let me give you my thoughts on the the main, the steak, the star of the show. And it was really, it didn't disappoint. It was really, really good. Lovely and smooth, beautiful taste. Uh, the asparagus as well was really great. A lovely taste. Um, I've newly, I've just discovered asparagus really. I didn't think I liked it, but actually I do. I really like it. So I have it all the time now. And the asparagus here was really good. Um, my only criticism, I guess, of the the chips that we've shared, um, the fries, the homemade fries, they were a little bit cold. Um, that would be my only criticism, really. Um, other than that, I'm going to give my steak a Crucial UK score, five out of five. So it's arrived. I've gone for the meal foil, um, and it looks amazing. It right up my street. The pastry looks fantastic, and there's creme, creme patissiere. Sorry, I've got hiccups. I've got uh, there's creme patissiere in there. It looks really good. I've high hopes for this. The last time I had one of these on a cruise ship was on the Disney Dream. That whole experience was amazing. I'll put a link up there uh, if you want to watch that video. It's really good. Um, also at the table, in case this doesn't float your boat, we've got a strawberry cheesecake. Let me give you the scores for the dessert. Wow, really good. If you come here, have the milf wheel. It's really good. Crucial UK score, five out of five. The pastry was so light and buttery. I mean, it was a big dessert, but it didn't feel big at all because I'm already full up from that steak and oh, it's just so good. Not quite as good as the Disney, but it was still excellent. So if you come here, make sure you get this. You won't be disappointed. There we go. I hope you've enjoyed this little look at some of the food options on board the MSC Eurybia. Hit that like button and make sure you'll subscribe because we've got eight cruises coming up for you this year, uh, including the Queen Anne and the brand new Sun Princess. Uh, so lots to look forward to. I think we've got something for everybody. So make sure you're subscribed. And until next time, I will see you up on deck.